Hey there guys, what is going on? You can see that we got in Captain Price's lovely hands here, of course, the Finn LMG with the Chainsaw mod. Ah, it's goofy. It's not really any good, but it is sure a lot of fun to play with. And I think we've come up with the best class setup to make it work. So if you are interested in this kind of thing, this is probably the best class setup that you're going to be able to work with. It's very, very fun to play with, but it's not super great at the same time. So if you're one of those Call of Duty players who just likes having fun running around with dumb weapons well this is definitely going to be up your street but just before we do get started here let's try and get this one to 23 million likes i know that is a rather large number considering the amount of views this video is probably going to get but i mean you can just ask your friends to like the video they don't even have to watch it just ask your mom ask your dad like if you ask your mom make sure you tell it i said hi it's been a long time since i've seen it tell her to call me but yeah basically just get everyone you know to like this video i would very much appreciate it also, hit that subscribe button if you have not already done so to make sure you don't miss out on any of the upcoming content. Lots of stuff lined up very, very soon. So let's just jump straight into our chainsaw build here. As for our chainsaw class here, we're going for basically a very high rate of fire, okay recoil control, and just being able to spray people until the end of time. But starting off here with a secondary choice here, of course, as I believe the Akimbo X16s, Basically, all we want is another powerful close range option. If somebody does get too close, we can blast them away. Monolithic suppressor, Syngard Arms Advantage Barrel, 5 milliwatt laser, the lightweight trigger, and of course the Akimbo perk. Basically, you just get these up when people are too close. You just blast them away with a very high fire rate and good damage at close range. A very standard setup of EOD, Ghost, and Track in the perk slots. EOD for that explosive resistance, of course. Ghost for staying off of those UAVs and Tracker for being able to sort of see those enemy footprints, track people, run behind them, and get easy, easy kills. Lethal is the C4, of course, because it is a great killing tool as well as an excellent piece of utility like it makes a little smoke cloud which is very very handy sometimes and as well in the tactical slot we do have the stim shot of course now of course this is basically just the chainsaw from cod ghost and it is very very cool and it does actually perform a little bit differently than you might expect sometimes and with these attachments basically we can get the most out of this weapon as i said it is not the most powerful by any stretch of the imagination but it is certainly one of the most fun weapons and most unique weapons in this game so some of these attachments do need a little bit of explanation here and i'm going to talk about that right now so, of course, in the muzzle slot, we're starting off with the compensator. Normally, we would use something like the monolithic suppressor here, but with this, we don't really care about damage range too much. Like, if you are fighting at sort of those medium to longer distances with a chain gun, well, you're going to die anyway, so I wouldn't worry about that too much. Basically, all we want is that little bit of extra recoil control. This does actually make it quite easy to group up our shots nicely, and it does actually reduce it by a significant amount. So, with this combined with the XRK Pro Twist Adverse Barrel, basically, we get a decent combination of that recoil control, that ball velocity and as well as that fire rate of about a thousand rounds per minute which is very very powerful here of course very important to send those bullets down range as fast as possible which is awesome here now the tack laser does look a little bit weird on this particular class if we take a look at the chainsaw here it does say that it does reduce our or remove our aim down sight ability but you can still aim down sight and close up that pellet spread like basically you would just hit fire but better i guess you closed one eye and like looked through the sight and you're like yes i can see better now so of course the tack laser does look a little bit weird here for that aim down sight it does decrease that time it does take to pull up that sort of weird aim down sight but not really thing but the more important stats here are actually the aiming stability and aim walking steadiness interestingly enough that does actually apply so that you idle sway of the weapon does actually apply while you are like firing it which is kind of weird that doesn't really happen too much so your bullets can actually go like across the screen left and right very slightly and that does actually mean you're going to miss some shots sometimes so the tack laser does actually help us control that a little bit better as i said the xrk chainsaw stock is just goofy that movement speed hip fire accuracy and sprint to fire speed are excellent on this particular weapon it's a fun little build here i always saw this and i'm like that is so so very cool i love that so much i wonder if it's any good turns out it's not super good but it's still a very fun weapon to use and lastly we want the 556 five, nato 100 round belt mag just basically for that increased ammo capacity while not reducing our bullet velocity and our damage range very very important here to just send those bullets down range like we're not really too fussed about that movement speed decrease and that aim down sight speed decrease because that doesn't really matter to us so of course as i said with this particular build it is more about fun and having a good time it's never going to be the tip top of the meta because it just doesn't work out like that somebody who has their iron sights already up and on you will typically get the kill because it does take a fairly long time to get that sort of pseudo aim down sight with the chainsaw effect going so we're just going to jump into some gameplay here and talk about this weapon some more bro i swear Every time I try and record one of these videos, it is on Hovex Sawmill, literally every time. I think the gameplays for like the last four videos have been on Hovex Sawmill. This is also the wrong class, lol. Let me change to the actual best Finn LMG class. Like, I don't want this trash. Give me that chainsaw any day of the week. Like, all right, now we are gaming. Like, look at this thing. It is so goofy. Like, did you see that little bit of 
weird aim down sight time. It does take a little while sometimes, and that can be a bit of a problem, especially that the sprinter fire speed isn't super crash hot. Like, it is, of course, improved as a result of the chainsaw thing, but it's not enough sometimes. If you some, if I was to come around the corner there, like somebody was to come around the corner there and I pull up on him there, he is going to out, like, ADS me every time and basically just shoot me in my face, and that's the end of my game. Like... I don't really think this is going to be an ideal map for it. We've got these longer lines of sight, which are not ideal for something that, of course, cannot actually aim down sight or really fight at long range. So we'll do our best here to try and get as close as we can to these nerds. But as I've said already, this isn't really about being super competitive. Like, this is never going to be at the tip top of the meta. There's going to be somebody peeking around the... Ow. Oh, my God. Two claymores and a bouncing Betty on that one doorway. But as I said, not every single class setup in the game has to be based around hyper competitiveness. Like, sometimes you just want to have a good time. You pull on the stupidest class setup that you can think of and have a great time, as I said. And this is definitely one of those class setups where it's just about having fun. Like, this is kind of fun. Nice to have fun sometimes. Not that we've got, like, a decent kill yet. We actually haven't got a kill with the chainsaw yet. You wouldn't believe it. Last game I played with this, I think I got like a 34. I think I got 30, 34 kills and, I mean, in not too long of a time period. And this time I haven't literally got zero kills so far. This is just all about the map design. Like, I cannot get close enough to people to actually make a difference here. Alright, that's our first kill. It's a good start. It's a very slow start. Being able to, like... You shouldn't be able to uh, drop shot people with this. Like, I think that's kind of stupid <laughs> this basically feels like one of those uh viewer custom class setups where i struggle with a dumb weapon but this is all of my own design basically like this is my fault that we're playing this way and it's i like it i've heard some complaints about that it's just literally too bad to be fun but you throw in the stopping power rounds here you get those sights up like you pull that hip fire in and you can do decent work with this. It's not the worst thing in the world. Like, it's by far and away not the worst gun in the game. Oh, my God. These dudes and their Bettys. There's dudes and their Bettys, man. But no, it would be the way, wouldn't it? That I, I set on the recording and then the gameplay just dies. There was a man there. But you can see... Good damage if you manage to get those sights up. Like, if you do start getting those bullets down range, people are going to die. Like, it's pretty much as simple as that sometimes. Like, you get those sights halfway up, I guess, is how you would describe it. And then you get situations like that where they're slightly too far away and you can't kill any of them. <laughs> Which is pretty... That's uh, pretty gnarly sometimes. <laughs> But, again, as I said, definitely a fun weapon to use. Just because it's a little bit different. I'm all about weapons that are a little bit different in this game. Like, I was always a big fan of, like, trying the Uzi and making it work and stuff like that previously. But, like, before it got good. That's a little bit unfortunate. Also, you are sort of dictated how good this can be by the game. Like, a lot of the time it's not up to you if you get the kill or not. Of course, the hip fire is decided by the game, and if you get unlucky, well, that's that's bad luck, bro. You didn't hit the shots, like. So we try and make it as easy as possible for us to hit those shots with like those compensated the tack laser and stuff like that, making it as easy as possible. We don't want to be up here anymore, and that's fine. We got one pick over the top, and that's all I'm after. All right, we're starting to get a little bit of a uh, little bit of a run going here. Damn it. Stole my kill. We actually have an advanced UAV up right now, which is pretty cool. That makes it a little bit easier to move around the map with a little bit more certainty. Just got to get close enough to actually make use of it. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this helps slightly. <laughs> we'll just take our reload here. And we'll just pre-fire through that wall. Always a good thing. Advanced UAVs make the game very, very enjoyable. <laughs> they make the game enjoyable because it is very, very easy. 
Like, oh, there's somebody coming around that wall. Oh, I'll wait here for about 10 minutes and see if they do end up coming this way. As I said, there is going to be somebody coming around this side eventually. I'm going to play kind of aggressively here, but not super aggressive at the same time. Like, you want to get up in pit. For real? Did he actually just, like, outflank me there? No, he was just chilling. He was just chilling. He saw me looking at the claymore. He's like, I'm going to murder this man. See, sometimes you can catch people off guard. Like, you're never going to outgun people who have their sights up already because it just takes too long for the chainsaw to actually get it done. But, I mean, otherwise, like, if you take people by surprise, you'll be fine. Like, this is cool. Stuck in their spawn. I did not see that, man. My color vision strikes again. <laughs> yeah, I straight up did not see that, man, at all. Which is down to my color vision 100%. I'm kind of red-green colorblind. So sometimes it does make it a little bit difficult to see. Okay, of course. Yeah, sometimes it does actually make it a little bit more difficult to see people in these games. Like, being red-green colorblind is kind of an inconvenience. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes it doesn't uh, actually apply. But other times, it's just goofy. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. Sit down. Also, I have a question to ask you guys. Let me know if you do want to see, like full gameplays like if you want to see the entire game or you just want to see me like cut it down to 10 minutes like i know somebody did ask the other day if they could like watch the i should have killed both of them if they wanted to watch the whole game um that'd be cool i don't mind making the videos like 12 13 14 minutes long like i just didn't want people to like get turned away because the gameplay was too long but if you guys want to see the whole game i'm more than happy to put that into the video so Yes. Yes. <laughs> Take that fire damage, my guy. That is that is not good. <laughs> Just standing there in the fire the whole time. Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> Imagine playing in the world where he's using a shotgun and bouncing Bettys and being like, yes, no, this is this is my ideal loadout here. This is exactly what I'm trying to do. Oh, Hopefully nobody sees me if I just lay down here. If I just lay down here, this is fine. That is not an enemy. That's fine. Everything is okay. Can I? One time. All right, we'll move up. We'll move up. Got to be aggressive here. Can't just sit around all day doing nothing. Come on. Yes. No. <laughs> oh, who plays the game like that? Who just sits there just chilling, doing literally nothing? Like, I've said this in a previous video, but this game plays so well when people actually, like, play it. Like, when people actually move and stuff like that, this is one of the best Call of Duties they've ever made. But people just are able to sit like that and get away with it. Like, just move, bro. Like, at all. Like, one time. But as you can see, like, this isn't the worst in the game by any stretch of the imagination. Like, there are definitely weapons that are worse than this, but it's just a meme. Like, it's fun, and we'll have our final thoughts on it in just a second. So, what do we think of our chainsaw class that appear? Well, I know it's bad, and you probably all know it's bad, but it is certainly a fun weapon to run around with. If you try and make the most of it, like, you bring that sort of shot spread, like that actual recoil, you bring that in a little bit, you make it very easy to hit those shots at those medium, close range distances, and people will die. Like, if they get in the way and they're not ready for you, like, they're gonna drop, and that's pretty cool. It's, of course, not the best weapon in the game by any stretch of the imagination, but it's not one of the worst at all. Like, there are definitely worse weapons than this, and it's definitely fun to use. So, this is probably the best sort of chainsaw class that, that we can come up with with the Finn LMG. Just before we go, let's try and get this one to, like, 23 million likes or whatever I said at the start of the video. That's a lot of likes, but I reckon you can get close. I reckon we can do a pretty good job here. And thank you very much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you have not already done so. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!